So Brittany, thank you for doing this. Absolutely. Um, you and I have been friends for quite some time now. Mm -hmm. When I started thinking about Conquer Me and why I started it and the progress that we've made and how I want to introduce it to more people next year um, and who I wanted to really show as a case study and a highlight of what's possible, obviously your name came up, you and along with some other folks. And so I really want to take this time to ask you some questions to celebrate your progress and just to let other people into what this whole thing is. Yeah. Because they see it on Facebook and they're like, what the heck is Conquer Me? What does that even mean? And no one understands. And they all have these their own preconceived notions. And so what I'm really trying to get to here is people to understand this is about helping people overcome themselves, their limiting beliefs, their mindsets, all the things that we've worked on in the past. So I want to start with you just telling me where you were first uh, before you found Strong Body okay. and then Conquer Me. Okay. Um, so strong body, I was on medications. I was very sedentary, like yeah. worked at a desk, sat in a car, yeah. went to the ball field, sat there, sat at dinner, like just not moving a whole lot. Um, wasn't monitoring nutrition whatsoever. Um, really not getting any movement in, yeah. except maybe on a Saturday or Sunday. Um, when I started strong body, of course, my movement increased because yeah. I had a commitment to come in. I had people depending on me to be there. Um, so movement increased, but the other areas really nothing changed. Um, I was still on medications. I wasn't monitoring my food. Um, still having some very negative thoughts about myself mm -hmm. and where I was in life and things like that. Um, so when you started offering Conquer Me, I had been ready for a change and had been trying to do it on my own for a very long time and was just not successful whatsoever. Right. Um, very, very tiny gains. Okay. So member of the gym. Yep. Now you are, you have access to a coach. You're doing semi-private training, mm -hmm. right? You're coming to the gym for the first time fairly consistently. That's loose. I would loosely say yeah. consistently. <laughs> We're going to be, be honest, honest here. This is all about being <laughs> Not super consistent. Yeah. Okay. Paying for the pro paying for mm -hmm. the program, popping in. You would have weeks where you would do really well. You would have months where you wouldn't. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And we would constantly be going like, "Hey, what are we doing here?" Yeah. Like Brittany, you're a friend, right? I consider all of my clients friends, but you and I have a different connection, and so I can be very real with you. That's yeah. what I appreciate about our relationship. I can literally say like, "What the hell? Like, what what are you doing? What are yeah. you doing?" <laughs> and you can tell me, and we can talk through it. And so we had a couple of those conversations along the way. I'm like. Are you going to ever take this seriously? Mm -hmm. Like, I know that you have just these deep desires to change your health and your fitness and improve your confidence and to lose weight and to do all these things, but you're not doing it. Yeah. You have the tools, you have this amazing gym to come to and mm -hmm. these amazing coaches and this app that you can schedule. Mm -hmm. Hell, I've even recurring, I've even yeah. put you on recurring. Like, you didn't even have to go in and schedule, <laughs> but yet you weren't showing up. And so when the conversation came up about Conquer Me, what was it about that program that I was presenting that made you feel like, hey, this might be something I need to do? So I always thought it was more about just the movement and if mm. I could just exercise um, with Conquer Me. And as we had those preliminary conversations, I really realized there's more to it than just the moving around, yeah. that it's not that one particular item. There's a plethora of items that mm. um, we really tackled when we started the Top Conquer Me program. Yeah. Um, the additional accountability and having those conversations, those tough conversations on a regular basis was huge for me. Yeah. Um, being able to have that open dialogue and have somebody say, you know, what are you doing? Like, right. either let's do it or let's not. Stop sitting in on Did the fence. Did I ever fence. say that to you? I think so. <laughs> it's like, okay, you're on the fence. Like, either get, yeah. on, get on the side that you're going to be on, decide that you're just going to continue through life as you are currently. And if you want to do that, that's fine. Right, no but, judgment. Yeah, but I know you have the ability and you seem to have the desire. So if you really want this, like, let's do it. Yeah. So the whole idea of mentorship, which is what Conquer Me is, is I know that I yearn for people in my life to, to see my potential mm -hmm. and to love me enough to tell me what I need to hear to help me reach that potential. Yep. Unfortunately, we live in a society where that doesn't happen. That's taboo. We don't talk, we don't hurt feelings, yeah. we don't whatever. But I love you enough to continue having conversations with you. And we've had some really good ones and we've had a lot of tears and we've had a lot of things. But you responded really well to that. Like we initially, I said, hey, Brittany, this is what it's going to take. Like mm -hmm. we're going to have to really 
So as a result of those conversations, the structure, the accountability, the things that you mentioned, what progress have you made since starting Conquer Me? Um, probably the biggest thing that everyone notices is weight loss. Yeah. You know, and it's great. You know, you see people, I was actually at Klaus earlier and an old friend walked in and was like, oh my gosh, you know, you look amazing. <laughs> and she hadn't seen me in probably five, six years. Yep. And while I appreciate that, you know, I told her thank you and everything. Um, what she doesn't see is the other changes. Let's go. Um, Tell me about those. The mindset, like just the way I carry myself, the way I feel about myself. Mm. Um, I'm not looking for validation from other people. Like I said, it was wonderful for her to give me those words of encouragement, but I don't need it. Mm. Um, I see what's changing in me. I can feel those changes. Um, My faith has just Blown oh, up. Oh, wait a minute. This is a fitness program. <laughs> what do you mean your faith has blown up? How does how do you get there from a from a from a weight from what most people perceive as a weight loss program? Um, I would say because of the self the self affirmation. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, that was probably the biggest thing for me to see how God created me Mm -hmm. and starting to understand what He created me for, and that for me to reach my full potential, I have to trust that He created me perfectly, and that I just have to continue to grow closer to Him and to trust that, Mm -hmm. to know that, you know, I I am doing things the way that He designed me to do them. Um, Just the relationship in general. I've always been a churchgoer. I've always been involved um, in church and community. Um, But it's just different when that relationship really deepens and you're really able to connect with your creator. So a lot of that comes from connecting with you, though. Mm Mm-hmm. Right, you. There was a disconnect on you, with you in your own relationship, oh, yeah. how you felt about yourself, and what you were saying to yourself. And these are the things that behind the scenes, these are the conversations that we're having. I'm like, if you don't love you, how can you realistically expect God to love you? Exactly. Right? That sounds crazy, but it's just that is what it is. How do you think your husband's going to love you? How do you think your kids? So what we start with in Conquer Me is getting honest. Mm -hmm. Like, let's put all the bullshit away and let's get to the foundation of like, where are you, right? Mm -hmm. This is the R7 framework. This is in the very beginning where we do the reveal phase and we ask you some very pointed questions about where are you day one? Mm -hmm. What's the facts? Facts are, I don't like the way I look. I don't like the way I feel. I don't like my relationship with God. I don't feel secure in my sex life. I'm eating garbage for food. I'm not moving my body and I'm trending in a way that's detrimental to my life. Yeah. Absolutely. Man, that's a tough conversation. Who has that? Yeah. And then it's, okay, well, let's look at the future. Where do you want to go? I want to have a deeper relationship with God. I want to I want to love myself more. I want to have more energy. Okay, cool. Let's build a map. Let's build a program. And then let's talk every single week and make sure that we move in that direction. Okay. So weight loss is one. And I love that Like you're looking at this lady and you're going, thank you. That means a lot. But you have no idea of what's happening inside <laughs> or what had to happen inside in order for me to get that result oh, yeah. of weight loss, mm-hmm. right? She's thinking, what gym do you go to? Right. What workout are you doing? <laughs> what meal plan are you following? And you're like, no, 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 that, that's not it. So talk to me about some other progress um, that you made with medication. Um, so I'm not on any medications any longer. And what were you taking before? I was on anti-anxiety, antidepressant, and ADHD which I feel like half of our society has <laughs> one of those things, if not all three. Yes. Yeah. And and listen, if you're on medication and you're listening to this, um, this is not about whether that's okay or, or it's right or wrong or whatever. You have to do what you need to do to feel supported. <laughs> but the vast majority of those people that you're talking about, they don't want to be on medication. Right. But they don't know how to manage their life and their health and their mindset and their emotions in a way that would allow them not to be on medication mm-hmm. and not just totally fall apart. Yeah. So talk to me, because that's been grindy. Like <laughs> me and you have worked through this and we've had some really tough conversations and it's like, I don't know, Jay, if I can do this. Talk to me about that process. Do you feel like you would still be without medication had you not be in Conquer Me? Absolutely not. I would have caved, I'd probably say month two, something like yeah. that. Um, because you you go through like that detox almost mm-hmm. where you're just in a really, really dark yeah. place for about four or six weeks. Yeah. Um, and at that point, it's like, is it really even worth it? Mm. Like, I, 
maybe the doctor's right. I really do need this. Right. Um, not, okay, let's try some different tools or let's try something else besides a cure-all pill yeah. um, to try and see if we can do this. And there's been multiple times where I've considered going back yeah. on medication. And then as I think through, why did I get off of it in the first place? How did it make me feel? Yeah. How did I treat my family at the end of the day when I was coming off those medications? Right. Um, and it really resonates that, no, this this is what I want. And I'm willing to put in the work mm. and deal with some of the hard days so that I can extend my life. I mean, I want to live to be 100 years old. Right. On those medications, there is no way. Right. Like, I'd have a heart attack, for right. sure. Right. So you've had to uncover and learn some new skills um, that you don't necessarily have to have when you're taking medication, mm -hmm. right? If, if every time you feel an emotion that's uncomfortable, like fear, or anger, or whatever, we just take a medication and we get rid of it. Yeah. How do we ever learn the coping skills and the people skills and the emotional intelligence and all of that to deal with those things? You don't. You don't. So you've had to learn that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because it, the thing that seems for someone who does have those skills, the things that seems like a little minor speed bump to them seems like a mountain mm -hmm. sometimes. If we're relying on medication, now we're not. So how have you been able to work through some of that stuff? And how's Conquer Me helped you with that? Um. I would say the big thing is the team, mm. not only of your coaches and you, um, but the other people that are also in the program. A lot of times you think you're alone. That's good. Um, and you have this pool of people that are all different races, age, sex, yep. you know, everything that surprisingly they have been through similar situations. Mm -hmm. They can provide feedback about when they went through something and yep. how they managed it. Um, some of it was just the conversations that we would have as a team. Yeah. You know, this is going on. Does anybody have anything that they can provide any insight to help right. with it? Um, and then research. Yeah. Um, you and I talking about, you know, Pomodoro was huge for me. And yeah. anybody that has ADD, ADHD, like that's the first thing I do. Have you ever heard of Pomodoro? Yeah. Um, and it's been great for me. I know it's been great for you. Yeah. Um, but having those resources and the weekly conversations that yeah. we would have for me to say, hey, I'm struggling with this. I've tried X, Y, Z. It's not working. Do you have any other ideas? And even if you didn't, being able to say, we will get through this. This right. is just, you know, a hump in the road. Yeah. Stay strong. You've got it. Um, and just allowing that to pass and then continue and get back on the horse mm -hmm. the next day and just keep pushing through. Yeah. So a mentor, again, is there to bring you back to your why. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those conversations, and I recall many of them, where you had forgotten where we were headed. Mm -hmm. And you're going, I'm overwhelmed. I'm stressed out. I don't really know. I'm having a lot of uncertainty and doubt. And, whatever. and I'm going, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Remember where we're headed, though? Remember where you came from? Right. Remember where you were stressed out and you didn't like your, you were unhappy with your weight and you were taking these medications? Like, Look at the progress that we've made. And I kept bringing you back to like, stop. And we had this conversation before this. Mm -hmm. Let's not focus on the gap. Let's focus on the gain. Let's look at what we're grateful for. Let's install some strategies that will help you manage your day better, mm -hmm. right? And it's like, people come to this and they go, I want to lose weight. I better go do Conquer Me. <laughs> and I'm going, yeah, but you don't know how to manage your day. You're, you're, you're all over the place with your calendar. You're constantly checking email and Facebook and everything mm -hmm. else. You have no structure in your life. You're not having conversation with your family. You're chronically dehydrated. Like you have all these issues that need to be addressed that actually have nothing to do with exercising and eating. Right. <laughs> right? Yep. And so it's like, if you can get your day under control and you can start to build in the things that are most important and you can prioritize them and then you can have integrity and stick to those things, like now we're starting to get somewhere. But the only way that can happen, my experience after 15 years in fitness is to work with someone very closely mm -hmm. on a weekly or at the very least, as time goes on, a bi-weekly basis. I explain it like this. A regular gym membership is like going to Atlanta and you have guardrails and it's a six lane highway and there's just super wide guardrails and you can just drift all over the place, mm -hmm. right? You might eventually get to Atlanta. But a program like Conquer Me and mentorship is bringing those guardrails in so tight 
we're taught we're there's constant feedback mm -hmm. Brittany this is working keep doing it Brittany this is not working let's change it Brittany this is working Brittany this is your mindset Brittany your perspective Brittany this is the way you're seeing this maybe consider this way now all of a sudden the gaps from what I'm seeing with you it's like the gaps between you being in a really bad state of like overwhelm and stress all that stuff starts to lengthen and we still have times where we have those conversations. I have men in my life and people in my life that go, Hey Jay, you're off track here. Yeah. Like your perspective is way off. You're seeing this the wrong way. Consider this perspective. But I've seen something with you when, where things have just kind of leveled out and you still have your ups and you still have your downs, but you found a way to adjust course, correct, and then make your way back on course. Mm -hmm. What's that been like? It's been a challenge. Yeah. I mean, to be completely honest, it's not easy. Um, it does get easier the more that you do it, yeah. um, building and stacking those habits. Um, you know, then you don't really think about things um, because they do become habits. You know, yeah. scheduling your day, like you said, yeah. um, checking Facebook. You know, when you start putting some guardrails in place around those big areas of your life, then you're able to navigate a lot easier with a little bit less thought. Mm. And the longer that you do that, like you said, the the easier it becomes, um, it becomes second nature. Yeah. And then from there, you say, okay, you know, maybe we need to work on this. Right. Um, so I feel like I'm, I'm in a very good place and now it's, okay, what's the next thing that maybe we can tweak a little, maybe we yeah. can adjust it. How do I build this into the day? Um, so then that can become a habit and we can move on. So mm. it's that constant growth. And like you said, the feedback from, mm. from you and your team to keep me on track, to know where I'm doing well um, and make those pivots whenever challenges do arise. Yeah, you know, life happens. It happens. <laughs> it happens. And normally, when people come in to conquer me, the house is on fire. Mm -hmm. Everything's on fire. Oh yeah. Their life is on <laughs> fire. Their health is on fire. They're on all the medications. They're overweight. They're not happy in their marriage. All the things are on fire. Mm -hmm. And so we have to go. All right. How do we? Which room do we start in? Where do we start? Like yeah. we can't put the whole fire. Like we got to start somewhere, and let's start working our way. But then eventually we get to a place where everything's kind of. Good. We kind of know, like we know what to eat. We have rhythms. Mm -hmm. We we know when we're supposed to work out. We're moving our body with intention every single day without it being a big, huge grind. So then it comes, it becomes, what can we optimize? Mm -hmm. Can we read something? Can we listen to something? Can we have a conversation about something? What do we need to tweak a little something with the dietary habits? Like that's where we want to get people to. Yeah. Is a place where house is not on fire. Everything's pretty good. We've got good routines and rhythms and mindsets. And now we just look to just dial it a little bit. Yeah. So do you feel like now, after the last couple of years of us working together, do you feel like you have the tools to be successful long term? I do. Have you ever felt like that before with any other program? I've never felt like that in my entire life. <laughs> and I feel like I've, you know, I've done well with life, but yeah. I'm doing great with life. Like yeah. things are just, they're clicking. Mm. I love it. So if someone's on the fence, they're considering maybe joining Conquer Me, they've seen some videos, they don't really know what this whole thing is, they really want to change their life, what would you tell them? Invest in it. It's an investment in yourself. Mm. It's an investment in your family. Um, the what you will get out of it will far exceed anything that mm. you pay into it. Um, you have to be willing to get real with yourself. Mm. You have to be willing to be uncomfortable. Um, comfortability is really limiting mm. for all of us. And yeah. that's where it's like, you know, I just want to sit here and I'm good. Right. Um, you have to be willing to get outside of that comfort zone. Yeah. And if you are willing to do that and make the investment in your future, it is a thousand times worth it. Right. It's the best money I've ever spent in my entire life. Oh. If that means I don't eat out, if that means, you know, I don't get a new outfit every week, who cares? Yeah. Because I love me. I'm going to probably far outlast many people. Yeah. Um, because I finally have, I, I guess I've figured it out with your help though. Right. <laughs> and feedback, yeah. That's good, good stuff. So um, I want to leave people with this. 
The program takes work. Mm -hmm. You have to be willing to get honest yep. with where you're at. And it's, it's sometimes very unpleasant and it's hard to process and deal with. But you've got to be willing to do that. Mm -hmm. You've got to be willing to show up and you've got to be willing to invest in yourself. Yeah. Fair. But if you do that, what I'm hearing you say is there's potential to radically change your life. Oh, absolutely. Awesome. You can have the life you've never had before. So proud of you. Thanks. Hey, if you were encouraged or inspired by this video and you'd like to know how you can work within the Conquer Me program, go to conquermecoaching.com and apply.